Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we're going to be talking about buyer rejection at chain stores. If you have a great product, perfect for stores, and you're having a difficult time with negotiations and you're getting rejected, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to buyer rejection. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So a really common theme that I see across the board when I'm working with these small to mid-sized manufacturers, product companies, and so forth is that they are going after these retail stores and they're just tired of the rejection. And they always come to me and say, Karen, at what point should I give up? I mean, is this product useless? Should I just let it go? I don't know what to do here. What do you think? What point do I give up on this thing? Because I've spent so much time, effort, money on this stupid product that I've had enough. And so here's the thing. As a manufacturer's rep, let me put it into perspective for you. As a manufacturer's rep, when I go after retailers, I have a list of, and I include that in the Retail MBA program, a list of the top 350 major retailers out there who have 50 or more stores that they're responsible for. And then that's not even including the online retailers or any other thing. So there is so much business to be had in this world. Now, until I go through as many of those retailers as possible, and I go through all the online retailers as possible, as me until somebody buys my product, I will not stop. And I'll tell you why. Because it's very easy for a buyer to say no. And that's understandable because everybody has new products and so forth. But the manufacturer's reps know that all they need is one buyer to say yes to them for one of these big box stores, one success story, and then it's the tipping point. And you hear that all the time with other things, right? Any other industry that you're in, at the end of the day, if you are actually doing well in one store, everybody else will come follow. And so you cannot give up. You have to keep going until you just get that one order, that one retailer to show proof that your product is gonna do well, and then you go back to all the ones who said no to you, and then you ultimately get them to reconsider, right? Because all they're looking for is the fact that your product's going to sell for them. And so at the end of the day, if I can give you any advice, it's do not give up. I had a student call me two weeks ago, and she was just depressed. It's, I, she's just like, I called five retailers. They told me to go away. I'm just, maybe I shouldn't continue this thing. And I go, are you crazy? I go after hundreds and hundreds of people before. All I need is that one yes. So don't you dare give up. And so I guess people have different thresholds of pain. The sales reps are much more used to dealing with a lot of rejections, but the average person maybe is not into that at all. And I totally get it. But if you're trying to make money, if you're serious about your product, you spend that much money on your product, you deserve to see it through. So do not give up. Forget the rejection. Rejection's part of life. Just keep going until you win.